This is a video of my parents' Lasco 1844 pedestal fan. Um, this is one of the cheapest uh, fans on the market that are made in America. This one does have parts that are made in America, or so the box tells me. Um, a pretty cheap fan. The base is completely plastic, and it rocks back and forth. Poles are metal, and pretty much other than that, the fan is made of all plastic. Um, it's a good fan, but it does have some pretty serious cons. Um, it does have a remote, which is quite useful for some cases, but for some not. Um, I will start it off on low first. Oh yeah, here comes the first con. You can't aim it like up at the fan head. You have to aim it down at the uh, at the panel. These corrode. It probably did corrode. Put that down. Nope. Ah, uh, well, it works. I'm just not. I don't have the fuse to mess with the remote, so I'm just going to do it by the um, button. So here's low. One pro about this fan is that it's very powerful. Low speed is probably enough to keep my room cool. But it's very noisy. Um, it does have a couple things that like any other pedestal fan would have, like no oscillation. One cool thing about this fan is you can pivot this hand, this fan all the way up to the ceiling. And then yes, you can have it oscillate. The only reason why I bought this asked my parents to buy it is because my dad wanted a remote control fan. And these are just like the ones that were at my school, which were 1880s. Oh yeah, and there's a timer on this too. And you can lower this and adjust this so it can be all the way up here or down here. Here's medium. I like those LEDs. Medium speed is already too much air. Like I said, it's noisy, but airflow is very good. And here's high, which is crazy. the back of the fan. And... Not too bad of a fan, but not the best. Um, yeah, we bought this at Lowe's in 2012 for about 40 bucks. Way overpriced. I would honestly buy this at 20 bucks, but 40 is way too much. And even when the remote's very hard to get. The the receiver for the remote is this timer icon. You can't really see it, but it's where that timer, that clock is. It's up there. Poor placement. And it does have these crappy blue cords. Stupid. Can't, re can't replace the fuse on these. Once they go, they're gone. And the fan will remember where, what setting you have it on, but when you unplug the fan or if the power goes out, the fan will automatically just go back to low. The oscillation is not affected. As long as you have it upwards, it'll stay, and then if you have it downwards, it will oscillate. So there is my 2012 Lasco 1844 pedestal fan. Thanks for watching.